Greetings, I am Dr. S. Monish Balaji. Today, we will be talking about Erythema in Medicine, Part 5. Erythema is defined as abnormal redness of the skin or mucous membranes due to capillary congestion. This image depicts necrolytic migratory erythema. It is a condition associated usually with glucogonoma. However, it can be seen with other disorders like intestinal malabsorption disorders, cirrhosis, inflammatory bowel disease, pancreatitis and non-pancreatic malignancies. It presents as waves of irregular erythema in which a central bulla develops, erodes, crusts and heals with hyperpigmentation. The lesions typically wax and wane for approximately 10 days, typically highly pruritic with painful annular plaques that demonstrate confluence and there is a predilection for areas subject to greater pressure and friction like the perineum, buttocks, groin, lower abdomen and lower extremities with periorificial distribution. This image depicts erythema nodosum which has multiple causes like sarcoidosis, inflammatory bowel disease, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, acute myelogenous leukemia, pregnancy, Bechet's disease, drug induced such as sulfonamides, sulfonylureas, halides, gold, oral contraceptive pills and infections like streptococcal infections, tuberculosis, Ersinia entercholertica, mycoplasma pneumoniae, LGV which is lymphogranuloma venereum, salmonella infections, campylobacter infections, histoplasmosis, blastomycosis, coccidiodomycosis and many other causes other than these. Now, how do we identify these lesions? They usually present in the anterior leg. They are 2 to 6 cm red tender nodules with poorly defined borders. And during the first week, they become tense, hard and painful. In the second week, they become fluctuant and color changes from bluish or livid appearance appears. And finally, they disappear 1 to 2 weeks with desquamation of the overlying skin after the primary lesion appears. Thank you.